How there, neighbor Reno? Time for another weekly reset guide. And you know what that means. We have hit season five. Season of the Forge. Uh, here in about a week, the Black Armory DLC will drop. Uh, this is the very first DLC that comes with the annual pass that some of you may have purchased when you got Destiny... T when you got Forsaken. Um, let's see. Come to a whole new range of things to do and earn. Time of the Outlaw is over. Season of the Forge has begun. Shax has reset glory and Valoranks for all guardians. So prove your mettle once again in the Crucible. Drifter has reset all infamy ranks and beckons guardians to follow him down a different path. And there are new triumphs to unlock, new rewards to pursue, and a brand new en bright engram full of surprises. Annual content pass stuff begins with the release of Black Armory on December 4th, which is in... Let me check my watch. By the looks of it, that would have to make it next Tuesday, isn't it? Season of the Forge Annual Pass. Okay. So, as I'm sure you've learned that Dotting, Iron Banner, and Weapon Crest quests are going to be free for you regardless of whether you have actually purchased the annual pass or not <sighs> and in in this you receive in this annual pass apparently there are forges array layer and missions no stories but well no story missions but still new um she still wants you to co collect 5,000 XP for your clan. She still wants you to collect to complete your 20 bounties. What does he want for the week? How you living, brother? As I'm sure you already saw, your infamy rank was reset. So, wherever you are, you are at zero now. Okay. So, this one... Seriously? It's still Ancient Apocalypse? Okay. Um, so, the weekly bounty is do it. Earn 12 points in Gambit. Win, wins add 3 points and losses add 1. Um, he has one for Breakneck. Looks like an auto rifle. 500 auto rifle kills, 100 multi kills, 150 challenging enemies, and 40 matches. Um, depending on how much you play, that could be anywhere from one week to the entire season. But that's what you'll get the breakneck auto rifle. Up. Okay, so the flashpoint this week is on Titan. So that's where you'll find your heroic daily mission things. And you'll be able to do your... Probably, you'll be able to do other stuff too. And in here, in the Vanguard, you still got to complete your three daily stories. Complete your strike, and complete strikes is the same subclass. And of course, do your Nightfall stuff. The Nightfalls for the week are the Warden of Nothing, Hollow Lair, and Savathun's Song. So if you still need to complete those challenge, those triumphs, like I know I do, then now is your week to do that. Of course, there are still the Gambit requirements. So complete one for the day or three for the week. And in Crucible... Ooh, is that... It's Lockdown! Yay! So basically, if you're able to get a power play in this game, in this, in this game type, then you win. End of story. And it is four v four as opposed to your typical control, which is at six v six. As I'm sure I already touched on in the beginning of this video, your all of your crucible ranks were reset be it glory 
or Valor. Yeah, Valor. So whichever one you're working on or want to work on for the missions or bounties or whatever, all of that was reset. So let's check out what the spider has this week, shall we? Okay. What catches your eye? So the bounties he has for the week include the Arcadian Cord on Nessus by the looks of it. Splendid Mine on Nessus. Arcane Mind on Nessus. Erxus Partisan in the ADZ. Narix Reborn, Nessus. Skydock 4 in the ADZ. Keldron on Io. Vargul in the ADZ. Ruined Mine on Io. Golmut on Titan. Faizan in the ADZ. Kurg in the ADZ. Shiotet on Nessus. And finally the Metal Captain on the ADZ. Of course, he still has his daily bounties if you need to complete those, either to get a little bit more glimmer, or if you need to complete them for some quest, like maybe completing Ikora's 20 bounty. What you got for me, Petra? Hope springs eternal. Maybe this time we will break the curse for good. No, you really won't. Okay, so what she has for the week includes your blind well compl activity completions. Uh, so again, on this one, if you do manage to complete a um, an unstable charge, that will be fifty percent, or it's a hundred. I can't remember which, but assume fifty. Next up, you have the ascendant challenge. That. If you're able to complete both of those, you will get even more powerful gear. Next up, you have eight daily bounties, which, when you think about it, aren't really that tough. And the daily and the weekly mission for the week is Dark Monastery. So that one will give you another dark fragment and some powerful gear. And if you've been playing enough, chances are that powerful gear is going to be around 600. But I guess that about does it for this weekly reset. If you guys like it, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. If you, field, if you want to see more, can't do it if you don't tell me. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for playing a game you hate. Ta-ta!